Hi, I'm Dr. Lucky Seacon, a double board certified OBGYN and REI, and I want to address pregnancy anxiety. I want to mainly normalize it. So today I discharged a bunch of patients of mine. Some of them were second timers coming back to continue to build their family. And I was so excited to have them graduate from our clinic and follow up with their OB. And one of them asked me a really important question, which is, is it normal to feel this level of anxiety? Now I can tell you as an OBGYN and fertility doctor and as someone who's been pregnant twice, it is very normal to feel anxious, especially if you've gone through treatment and you've done a lot of work to get to this point, and even more so if you've had a miscarriage or if you've had difficulties on your journey. It is normal to feel anxious and stressed because you have a complete lack of control. So here's my advice. First off, I think it's important to talk about how you're feeling and mobilize your support system. Have a low threshold to engage in talk therapy if you don't already have a therapist, especially if your anxiety is taking over and limiting your ability to function day to day. And speaking of day to day, take it one day at a time. For me personally, especially knowing all of the things that could go wrong as an OBGYN, I found it extremely helpful to think about pregnancy as divided into different increments or phases. And I really thought about each milestone and just getting to each milestone and then breathing a little easier and feeling relieved. So for example, you know, getting past the end of the first trimester, the first genetic screenings that can be done, anatomy scans that usually happen between 18 and 22 weeks, and you know, feeling better if that was normal, the growth scan and getting to fetal viability at 24 weeks, getting past 34 weeks, which is when you know that lung maturity and a lot of other things have formed and, and you feel a little less anxious about things like preterm labor. So by having these different milestones in mind, it was very helpful for me to kind of work towards each milestone. And doing that for me made the process less overwhelming and less anxiety provoking. So when I decided to make an IVF due date calculator, we, you can plug in your embryo transfer date and it tells you your due date and how far along you are. I also decided to add in a unique feature that I haven't seen elsewhere, where it will give you the dates that you can expect to hit each milestone. Check this out. So you plug in whether you had a day three or day five transfer, let's say the transfer was today, it will tell you how far along you are if you're pregnant from today's transfer and your due date. But then you can go through and scroll down and see all of the different milestones that I listed and the approximate dates of when to expect this. So check out theluckyegg.com and play around with the due date calculator. If you had an embryo transfer, you have an upcoming one, you can plug in the tentative date and it will give you all of these date ranges. And I'm curious to see what you think and if you find this helpful.